What is up everyone, this is SwordKing090 and this is going to be a brand new video for you today. Today's topic is about the first console I have ever owned. So my question to you is, what was the first console you have ever owned? Let me know in the comment section below and tell me the story about your first console. So, my first console would be the Nintendo 64. So I pretty much grew up on Nintendo and you, already, you guys already know my thoughts about Nintendo currently with their old copyrights and everything along the matters of that. But this was back in like 15 years ago yeah i'm very very old yeah <laughs> well then let's move on I, what was it 17 i think i was like around age five or six i don't even know five to six i believe it was where i first got myself a nintendo 64 that my father pretty much bought it i have no idea why i would have to ask my father one day Maybe I can get him into a commentary later on. I'm not too sure. I don't know if he even wants to do that. Who knows what's going to happen. Well, I'm just getting ahead of myself. Anyways, my father bought a Nintendo 64 and he set it up in my room. So, when I got home from school and then when I went to the room, I saw him on the floor actually putting up and setting up the Nintendo 64 and actually playing one of the games for the first time and to my amazement I've never seen anything like it before. I was never exposed to the video games until that moment. I never had a Game Boy, never had anything else to actually play video games with. This was the first console that I've ever actually got. So it astounded me. The first game he ever actually bought was Legend of Zelda. What a great choice now wasn't it? A great choice to actually start playing a brand new console for the first time ever in my life. All the memories I can remember. I remember my room, how it was all set up. The old TV where you actually had to have a brick type of control to actually change a channel with a VCR. You had to have a channel 00 or L1, L2, depending on how it was actually set up. You got to have that, make sure it was blue screen, and then turn on the console and you'll be able to play. Especially when we actually had carpeted floors, which also I made a video about. My god, how many times I actually had my face down on the freaking carpet, just for the fact of the matter is, is that I wanted to fall asleep. God dang it, I'm so glad my father actually changed it up from there just to where that we have tiles now, or hardwood flooring instead of carpets. Okay, alright, you can watch that video as well if you'd like to know more about the carpets. Any case, so it was just a great old memory playing Legend of Zelda for the very first time, running away from the boulders, getting the Kokiri sword, and as well as going for the Deku Tree for the very first time. Ah, oh, memories, memories, and more memories. I can remember the time where I was at the Shadow Temple trying to figure out how the how to actually get through the room with the enclosing wooden fences or whatever wooden spikes at the at the walls actually enclosing you every single time i go in there i have no idea what to do it never clicked on my mind that i actually had to use fire to get rid of it that's when my father actually went online to actually pretty much print out an entire guide on actually how to play the game he actually printed out pretty much the whole entire guide to actually do help me out with it. He actually read me through step by step on how to do things and then from there on forth I was able to beat the game. It was such a lot of fun. It was so much fun. I've gotten myself Wave Ray 64. I got Mario Tennis. I was actually rented by this was back in the day where you're able to actually rent out Nintendo games from a store. Fun times! Now you do it all online or you possibly actually go to GameStop but of course you don't really have the retro games on shelves anyways but yeah back in the day just renting out mario tennis i love that game so much i would try to unlock dk jr oh my god it was so so hard i don't even remember if you were even able to actually unlock dk jr or not but i remember that i was waluigi and i had i don't know i think it was yoshi as my other tennis partner and then it was up against dk and dk jr Spent so many hours. Whenever we lose, I actually restart the game, come back right to it, and start playing again. And this is where we didn't have memory cards. So everything was saved onto that cartridge. Why didn't we actually buy it for the fact of the matter is I kept playing it over and over and over again? I don't even know. I remember actually actually for my father to actually send it back and i think the total bills are around 50 dollars because of how long i've actually held the game it was like seven months i think it was seven months i've kept that game and i didn't tell him about it <laughs> oh that was bad that was so so bad of me to do that but it's like it was my favorite game if only we were able to actually rent to own that could have been a thing where i actually had that game 
but I remember so many other different games, Wave Race 64, The Bugs Life, Donkey Kong 64, Mar Super Mario 64, what I got from my grandpa after begging him to actually get the game over and over and over again. He lived a good five to six hours away, so it was like one, one of those trips where it was a good trip where he actually had something for me. I don't know if he would, if it was for me or if he was just playing to this day. I will never figure it out. My parents don't even remember how that story went down. But I remember he had the game in his hand and I was begging for it. Then once I actually got the game, then I held on for it for dear life and did not let it go out of my sights. Once we got home, I ran into my room and opened up the box, put the game in and started playing Mario or Super Mario for the very first time. That was great. I still have that game to this day and I've already done a let's play of it. Of course, that was on the virtual console, but it's the same thing. It was great. So many memories. That let's play is still up there if you guys want to watch that. I had such a blast making that let's play. And all the other games I'm trying to remember. I remember Pokemon Stadium. I remember actually playing. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. And here we go. I remember playing... Let me see, Pokemon Stadium, and then there was an attachment where you could play Pokemon Red, Blue, and as well as Yellow onto it. I was playing Pokemon Yellow at the time, and I remember Hey You Pikachu. What a great game that was, where you just scream into the microphone for Pikachu to do something, even though sometimes he doesn't react to it at all. Such a great game, I really want to play that game once more. One of these things that they should actually do is have a lot more games onto the virtual console for the for the Wii U. That will be making that will boost up their sales for all the retro games. Let me tell you that because not many people would actually go ahead and buy a retro game off of Amazon or eBay because they always go for a very very high price. It's just astounding to think that one of these games that like these games that were your your childhood games like these were once your childhood games. They are now it's like you have to pay a hundred dollars to play your favorite childhood game. Yeah, that is a real doozy right there. But on the other side, if they were to actually release more and more retro games in a collection of some sort so that we would be able to play it, then that would be fantastic. But mainly, I would like to see more of the games be on the virtual console, especially when they actually made the adapter for the GameCube controller to be onto the Nintendo Wii U. Now it would be a great opportunity and great investment to actually start importing all the GameCube games onto the Nintendo Wii U virtual library. I will go out of my way to buy those games and then actually possibly do some let's plays of them with the old game controller. It'd be so much fun. I'm not too sure if they're gonna actually do a lot of more copyrights because if they do, then that's gonna sort of turn me away. But who knows if they actually do a third party like developer because the Ginku was actually great for the library that they had. And for that, I'll be able to play a lot of the old other games that Nintendo doesn't really have their license on, so I'll be safe within the within the copyright aspect. But who knows how things are going to go down, especially I really hope that one day Nintendo will actually start to realize that to shun the community away is just going to hurt them in the long run. But at the same time, they know that the families will always buy their games because not many children actually really do a let's play at a young age. Let's just be truthful for you guys. Not many people will actually do a let's play at a very young age. It's more where the older people are actually doing a let's play because it's a lot more fun. And of course is that they have their insights to say. So yeah. No matter what, Nintendo's always going to be making money. But at the same time, it's like, uh, please Nintendo, allow us to do what we do. Allow us to help you out because what we do actually helps you out in the long run. But I digress. I've already made a video about that. So, first console was my Nintendo 64. I still have it. I still have it. I still have a controller. Probably gonna have to buy a brand new controller stick. I still have the memory card if I could actually find it. It's in one of the boxes somewhere. I still have a lot of things for the Nintendo 64. For me to actually do Let's Plays on it, that's gonna be a different story because I don't think I'd actually do that. But there's nothing else for me to say, so that's going to answer my question, and now the same question goes for you. So what was your first console that you have ever owned slash played? Let me know in the comment section below. So this is going to be the end of this video, so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe because I upload videos every single day except for Sundays because that's going to be my day of rest. All my social media is down in the description below, so if you'd like to contact me or ask me a question, you may do so in the comment section, Facebook, or Twitter. 
And if I do make a video about that, then I will credit you verbally within that video. I'll link your channel in the description and the annotation, thanking you for helping me out with something to do or something to talk about for that day. So more piggies, finally, I've been trying to get more food. Thank you for being in the line for me. So it's gonna be easier for me to obtain food. So I'm just going to continue on the hunt for food and let's see how many stacks I can get. So until then, have a great day everyone. I'm SoraKing090 and as always, I will see you in the next video.